Hi, this is Willie Crawford. I'm one of the uh, two people that brought to you the Viral Document Toolkit. Uh, my partner David Schwartz is the other one. Uh, and today I'd like to show you how to create a rebrandable PDF document, basically an ebook that people can change the link or they can change uh, blocks of text or whatever. And you, you decide which portions of the text or which portion, which hyperlinks you allow them to change. And then you pass these rebrandable ebooks along to affiliates, to joint venture partners, to people who want to just give out your ebook and you've incentivized them by letting them personalize some features of it and maybe earn a commission off of some sales or something. So let me show you how to uh, to do that using the Viral Document Toolkit. When you uh, grab a copy of the Viral Document Toolkit, you'll have some of these files, not all these, because I was working a number of different projects today. But you'll have a Viral Document Toolkit Builder and a Viral Document Toolkit Brander, plus you'll have a User's Guide and a License Agreement. You want to open the Builder, and it's basically a, word, a full featured word processor. You can see from looking up here, you've got all the standard formatting for any type of uh, um, word process document. So you can click in here and actually type your, your document, your, your, yeah, your document, and then uh, format it and save it as a PDF. But we don't want to do that. We want to do it the easier way, which is we want to take something that's already written or something we built in, say, Word or, or Open Office or something like that. And we want to import it. We don't call it importing with this program, we call it inserting. So you go file, insert file, and it defaulted to the RTF, which is just the way we set the program up. But it also recognizes what uh, Microsoft Office Suite programs and WordPerfect and a number of other programs you have on your computer. It uses the, the converters from those programs to uh, process the document. I have Microsoft Word 2003 on this machine, so I'm going to import a 2003 Word document, and it instantly recognized these three in this folder. You could have browsed to a different folder. I, this is the one I want, though. It's called Secrets of the Clickbank Millionaires. It's an ebook, and I would let an affiliate um, take this ebook and rebrand certain links. It, Let's pretend that, for example, I wanted this was like a logo for some business because so I wanted to let them rebrand the URL that was clickable behind the logo. First of all, you have to click on the image and you make sure there is an embedded image. Well, here I'm going to put it as well. Okay, and at that point, I have an embedded image. If you look at this table up here, it's not highlighted. When I click on this, it highlights it. That table identifies which items in the document can be rebranded. So I click on this, and it's added down here as an image that has an embedded link behind it. The next thing I want to do is I want to grab a block of text right here and make that rebrandable. This means somebody can change the entire block of text and, and make it any length they want it. You click on this, and add that block of text to the table. And it, this is just for the program to keep track of where that block of text is, basically. You scroll down a little and let's grab a couple links. Here's one for the Three Pillars Help Desk software. Uh, Word 2003 brings across embedded hyperlinks. If it didn't, you would need to click here and insert the hyperlink in this, this target box. But because it knows what it is, we highlight it, we click here, and it added that link to a list of rebrandable links. I'm going to do the same thing with the uh, Viral Document Toolkit. I'm going to highlight it add it to a list of rebrandable links. And that's five, four links in this document we've made rebrandable. All you do then is just save it. So I click on this to save it, and it wants to save it in a BDT or Viral Document Toolkit format. And I'm just going to call it rebrandable ebook. I'm going to overwrite an old file I've been playing with. So it says, do you want to replace it? I'm going to go, yes. I don't want to uh, come up with some creative new name. And at that point, we've created a rebrandable document. And you no longer need the Viral Document Toolkit uh, Builder, which is what this is, so we can close this builder, dismiss it, and then what you do is you pass that rebrandable document along with the brander to whoever you want to be able to rebrand re it. They would open the brander and they would click on this file folder and search for VDT documents on their hard drive. You can browse whatever folder you want on your computer. But this rebrandable ebook document we just created, rebrandable ebook.vdt, click on that and the program opens that rebrandable file and it's really ready for rebranding. And notice right here this table opened and it showed 
what links in the book and what parts of the book are rebrandable. For example, the image, the uh, link behind my picture and the block of text and then the two links at the bottom. So you click on the first one and it shows you what's there now and you can decide what you want to uh, have behind it. So let's change WillieCrawford.com to WillieCrawford.com. And you click on, if you click on OK, it's going to exit that table. If you click on Next, it accepts the value and it just takes you to the next thing that's re rebrandable in the table. We're now at the block of rebrandable text. If I wanted to change that text, I would type in this field what I wanted to change it to. If you don't want to change it, you click the Copy button and it copies what was already there. Uh, there's a lot of other features that are explained in the user's guide too, but we just want to keep what's there for now. I don't want to change that block text. Click Next. And it took me to three pillars help desk. Let's assume I'm an affiliate and I've got a, a promotional domain that's three pillars with a Z. I'm going to change that to a Z. Click OK, uh, Next. If I click OK, it would exit the program. I have to double click to get back where I am now, so I don't want to do that. And finally, we have the link viral document toolkit. Let's say I have a, a domain which I actually do called ASPDF Brander. And that domain is um, redirected to viral document toolkit so it's a promotional domain where I've got a basically a, a redirect built in so a lot of times you want to sort of hide affiliate links so that it's less obvious you're making a commission people seem not to like clicking on affiliate link for some reason so that's why you want to do that sometimes and you click next and the program will recognize that it's rebranded all the links that were rebrandable in this table and at that point you um, want to go ahead and save what you changed once you click this this icon here which will start saving the save process you can't change these links so you want to make sure they say what you want before you uh, you change them I, I know they're what I want so I'm going to click the create PDF icon and it tells me that four items were branded and it says now click the button again to save this document as a PDF file so we click the button to click this button to acknowledge the instructions we go back and click this button to save it as a PDF file. At that point, it says whether you want to save it and what you want to call it. So we click the Browse button. I'm going to call it my rebrandable ebook just because um, that's convenient and because I, I again, you can see I've been playing with this for a while. And so we're going to call it my brandable ebook. Going to save it in this folder. We're going to ha use Portrait. Uh, I'm going to automatically create URLs as hot links. So even the URLs that I didn't do anything with before, they're not going to be hot links in the document. And I want the document to automatically open in the, in the PDF viewer when I finish with it. Uh, we've got other options. We can put plug-in titles and all these other things. They don't, they don't mean anything to most people. Uh, the document protection is to let you encrypt the document. And the viewer options uh, let you just set a default. Uh, Adobe Acrobat viewer and also hide the toolbar or menu bar so that they can't uh, print and do a lot of other things with the document. I don't bother with any of those things. So back to just saving it in, under this name. Click OK. And Viral Document Toolkit has in fact created a rebranded PDF. That's how easy it is. If we scroll down to the things we changed in this document, You can see behind the picture, WillieCrawford.com became CoffeeCup.com. And Three Pillars with an S became Three Pillars with a Z. And Viral Document Toolkit became Ace PDF Brander. Uh, at this point, the person who rebranded this document can do whatever they want with it. I mean, you passed it to them with the ability to rebrand it so they could maybe sell affiliate products or give it away because some of the links in it aren't rebrandable, so they're still promoting your site. You know, there's a hundred different ways of using a rebranded document, but basically I've just shown you how to quickly and easily create a rebranded document. Let me close the PDF and let me close the, uh, the brander. So I don't need that anymore. And I'm just going to end by showing you that to get your copy of the Viral Document Toolkit software itself, you need to go to ViralDocumentToolkits.com. And uh, when you do that, uh, you can find this software. It's very inexpensive. And as you can see, it's quick and easy to use. And depending on where you're watching this video, I'll even read it. I'll even send you over to the site to save you the trouble of clicking. But if you're on some place like YouTube, you need to click through. Thank you.